Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. State-owned airline SA Express was grounded at the weekend after the South African Civil Aviation Authority suspended the airline's air operator certificates due to safety concerns. Keith Campbell is following the story and he joins me now. Hi Keith. Um, the Civil Aviation Authority has since lifted the suspension but not without a few caveats. What are the authority's concerns? Well, the, the Civil Aviation uh, Authority said that they're taking the action because of safety non-compliances and concerns about the airline safety monitoring systems, but they did not give any uh, further details. Uh, what I've heard is that there were a number of instances in which uh, SA Express aircraft operating schedule services had had to request uh, changes in flight path uh, or altitude from air traffic control, from the air traffic and navigation services uh, who run South Africa's civilian air traffic control system because of uh, faults or glitches that they had suffered in flight. There was no danger to passengers, but uh, uh, these instances had happened and of course ATNS had reported this to the CAA following standard procedures. Uh, but the CAA did not get equivalent reports from SA Express. And when they went to SA Express, they found that either the co in some cases the company had no record of these uh, instances, or in other cases they had no record of what had been done to deal with the problem. So at one level it appears to be a paperwork issue except that in aviation, paperwork is critically important. It's absolutely essential. It is not an irritating red tape. It is fundamental to the safe operation of the industry and of each individual airline. And that seems to be the origin of uh, the CA's action. Uh, they pointed out they don't take these decisions uh, abruptly. Uh, that they had been uh, in talks with the airline and they appear to have been, uh, well, obviously they were very unsatisfied with the responses they were getting from the airline. Um, the Airlines Association of South Africa has, was very impressed with the swift resolution between the Civil Aviation Authority and SA Express. Can you tell me more? Well, they uh, were very happy that it was resolved so fast and the airline was uh, restored to, uh, had its air operator certificate uh, uh, reinstated within 24 hours or so of the original suspension. The, it does look as if the CAA were wanting uh, the airline to present them with a credible plan to address these issues, not with a complete solution to all the issues overnight, uh, that they wanted a plan about how the airline was going to do it, and they got their plan, a credible plan uh, about how the airline was going to address these problems within 24 hours. Obviously, uh, a number of people did, must have got very little sleep over that weekend, um, both on the part of the airline and the CAA, uh, but it does, show that they can move fast when they have to. It, it's just a, a pity that they came uh, to such a pass that the CAA felt obliged to suspend the air operator certificate. Keith, the Civil Aviation Authority has assured South Africans that um, the country's aviation sector meets international best practice. Can we feel safe in this assertion? Yes, I think we can. Uh, not I think we can, I'm pretty certain we can. Uh, very certain we can feel safe in that assertion. The, clearly something went wrong at S-Express that shouldn't have gone wrong. Uh, given that uh, S-Express is subject to external audits uh, every two years, if I remember correctly, um, this problem must have arisen quite recently. Uh, but the thing is, this is why the CAA exists. Uh, human organizations are made up of human beings and human beings are fallible. So we need an outside check. The CAA provides that outside check. They certainly 
provided the check in this case and uh, clearly got S Express back on course. Thank you, Keith. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.